They're going to sell out. Star94.com. You know they're going to sell out, and probably largely because of you. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know how many people are waiting outside the studio, downstairs, around the end, all entrances and exits of the really? building. They're all waiting around. People what? drove in from Chattanooga to meet you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, so like, That's crazy. really? That's like, yeah. Oh, you know, uh, wow. you know who we talked to the other day. Uh, your buddy Michael Johns was oh, yeah, in town. He told me. And uh, did I say he said I was oh, supposed oh, to? Yeah, apparently oh, you're just a little ticklish, huh? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> so he said, "Okay, the first thing you have to do is oh, say what's up, Archie, and you have to tickle him." And I was—he no. was right. <laughs> oh, no. uh, so how has it been for you? Are you freaked out about all the attention you're getting? Oh, it's a little weird, but you know, it's. It's so cool. I'm so thanks. <laughs> it's cool. What's the weirdest thing that someone has done as a fan? Has anyone totally freaked you out yet? Um, like I love you, I want to marry well, you. Well, sometimes they get a little too close. I don't know. In your face a little like bit. When they like try to kiss you. <laughs> do I they think try that's to kiss weird. you? Why do you think people think that's okay? Like you wouldn't do that if you just were uh, at a club somewhere. You wouldn't yeah. want to go, start touching your hair. They wouldn't yeah. do that, but they think they can do that with you, don't they? Yeah. Full creep. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. Like I don't know. I, I I'm not a big kissy person. So I don't <laughs> so it's always kind of weird. What have you been doing since uh, you got off the tour, the American Idol tour? Uh, well, I've been working on the album. We love the Tell song. us about that. Oh, thanks. Tell us about it. How many songs do you know uh, yet? There are 12 songs on the main album, and then there's like a, uh, like a deluxe one on iTunes, and then there's like the Walmart one with its bonus. <laughs> so uh, those are fun. I co-wrote two of the songs on the album, which is exciting just been working as much as I can because you only have like a few weeks because you're on tour right. so whenever you had a day off you would work or record and then after the tour we went crazy <laughs> just trying to get everything done well, because, well let me ask you about that because now you get it like when you were getting on Idol you had no clue the work that was involved to be a huge pop star you mm -hmm. had no clue I'm sure of it like you yeah. just thought, man, everybody will love you and scream and holler when I oh, sing, no, and I'll get no. to sing for a living. It'll be great. <laughs> but man, how much work? I mean, is it way more work than you it's ever could imagine? It's a lot. Well, it's a lot of work, but it's it's still fun. I mean, I think if you enjoy music, then it will be fun for you. It'll just <laughs> be a lot of work. I mean, the show is a ton of work, and I can't believe you know it's just hard to you know look when you look back and it's like. I didn't die or anything like that. It's because it's like it's really, yeah. There's always a positive. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, it's it's a lot of it's really rough at times. But you know, you you feel like you know you accomplished something really cool, and I I'm just glad to have been able to go through that because I definitely wouldn't be here right now. Right. You know, if it weren't for that, and it was just cool. I mean, you learned so much about like you know performing and like the business stuff because it's like I had no idea about any of the business side of music you know people just think oh you sing and uh -huh. you know just record and la 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 and but it's like whoa <laughs> you need like manager business manager lawyer and uh, all these people you and then you have to worry about all these weird things that you didn't think you would but you know I, that's that's what's cool about this you get to learn a lot uh, when Simon's something to you that is just devastating how do you not break down on stage? It wasn't really devastating, I guess, anything. I mean, you know, he's honest and stuff, and it's just kind of like, oh, boy, he's going to say something. I can feel it. But it's not, like, bad. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't do you think he's trying to be that tough? Uh, so, it's his job. I think, you know, he has to. I, people wouldn't be happy. You know, people would be like, oh, he didn't say anything. No. Right. You know, he's too soft. You know, he he has to. That's what makes Simon Simon. Yeah. But has, he, has he ever said anything like behind the scenes where he's like, yeah, no, I, maybe I was a little too rough or, you know, something like yeah. that where he's like. I, yeah, actually, he, you know, well, he's a good guy. Uh, you know, he's just honest when he has to. But, you know, he'll be like, you know, you did a good job afterwards. He, you know, he's he's nice. I mean, he's about, a really smart guy. Enough about work. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about play. Right, right, what's too. like a fun night for you when you're not working fun and you night. can you can just be David? Well, not when I the, hang not out with the pop star, David. Yeah, with your friends. What do you yeah. guys do? What do you, uh, wanna, what do you like to go? <laughs> well, you know, just do typical teenager things. Go watch movies, hang out, uh, drive around. <laughs> drive around, uh, let radio talk. loud, cruise. Yeah, in. blast the radio and just uh, everybody, dance everybody in the texting, car. nobody talking, right? Everybody's texting <laughs> to each other? No. Okay. Are, what? You, a big, are, you, a big, are you a big texter? Um, I guess so. It's, well, especially now since I'm not around my friends, right. like physically, you know, I just talk to them. Do you hey, do how's it going? 
Do you do MySpace and Facebook and all that stuff? Oh, uh, well, I have the official MySpace. I don't, I don't really go on the, I mean, you know, because everyone found your stuff. You're like, oh, I'm stuff. Smith. He yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, just kind of stopped okay. with that stuff. But I checked my real MySpace, and, they, you know, they, they send, they leave, like, voice messages, and I listen to those. That's and cool. Look at the comments, and I, I post blogs every week on that. And, you know, it's fun to read what they have to say <laughs> about it. What, what were you doing when you first heard your song on the radio? Um, well, well, the first time was when um, we were at the first radio station that played it. And, you know, it was really exciting. I was, like, shaking. What city was, was that? so you know, weird. What's, do you remember what city you were in? New York. Okay. Oh, yeah, awesome. and then that was also the first time I heard it, like, just casually, too. It was just on the radio. I was like, oh, weird. It was so <laughs> weird. I mean, I, in New, you're in New York. And it, I don't know. It doesn't, you don't realize that. I mean, if you heard yourself singing on the radio. Oh, I haven't. It it's terrible. That's why I never want to hear she it. She sang with Lionel Richie in it this studio. Really? Right yeah, yeah, it was so cool. Oh, cool. And it, it was awful, though, I mean, because I can't sing at all, and everyone's abundant. And now, the Children's Health Minute. Each year, roughly 1.5 million children fracture a wrist or hand, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Nearly half of all hand and wrist fractures come from accidental falls. Fractures happen when too much force is applied to a bone, causing it to buckle or break. A child's hands and wrists have bones softer than adults, which increases the potential for breaks or fractures. Signs of a hand or wrist fracture include swelling, bruising, and difficulty moving the wrist, hand, or fingers. Treatment severity of the broken bone. A pediatric doctor may take x-rays to determine the location and extent of the injury. In some cases, your child may need a splint or cast, medicine, therapy, or even surgery by a pediatric trained specialist. It's important for parents to have their children wear wrist guards while participating in activities where hand and wrist fractures could occur, such as skateboarding or rollerblading. This Children's Health Minute is brought to you by Children's Head and Slash. Membership is only $30. Stop by today, BJ's Membership Club. If you've got a big job or small job around your house that needs to get done, Mr. Home Repair and Remodeling can do it. Call them, 770-339-4999, or check them out online, mrhomerepair.net. Now, more Cindy and Ray on Star 94. Talking to David Archuleta, coming to Atlanta December 17th for Jingle Jam. Now, a little bird tells me they're going very fast. They're going quickly. And I'm kind of excited because uh, my nanny Lauren came in because um, she was so excited. She and her sister-in-law, yeah. Jen, came in the studio. And so uh, I told nanny Lauren, yes. I'm like, all right, if you're going to come in to meet David Archuleta, then you have to have some questions prepared just like we would have to do in any normal interview. So, nanny Lauren, are you ready? Are you ready? Have <laughs> you been practicing? Um, yes. Um, sorry. Okay. That's <laughs> um, one of my first questions is, what is a question that people always ask you that you hate to answer? Hate, um, I, there's an... There isn't really any question I hate to answer. Well, maybe that you're just, like, um, annoyed, and you're like, would you please stop um, asking me? <laughs> well, I guess the ones with my dad being the stage dad thing is always annoying. Uh, but <laughs> I, that was that out? <laughs> does, that, does that offend you? Huh? Were you offended when people started to say that about your dad? Yeah, I, you know, at first just because I had no idea what they were talking about. At first, like, because I didn't, we were in our own little world. Yeah. We were about the competition, then I had school, so I had something extra to do compared to everyone else. And so I was always busy. And so, I don't know, when I do interviews, you know, because you had interviews every yeah. week, and people would just start, like, throwing them. There's, like, it started with just a little bit, and it was like, where's that coming from? You know, yeah. it's like, it was just weird. I didn't know, like, where it started or anything. And just people started asking me about it. It was like, well, that's weird. And then it, like, grew until, like, near the end of the competition. That's all they cared about. It's like, honestly, people just leave. It's so, like, Lord, I'm that, trying does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one? And I'm sure you're yeah. protective, too, because I know I would be about yeah, my well, parents. Yeah, it's just annoying when it's like they're saying, like, oh, stage dad and stuff. It's just, it's just annoying where they're, um, they said, like, he'd, he'd make me cry and he wouldn't let me do anything. And it's just like I'm 17, first of all. I'm yeah. <laughs> almost 18. I'm old enough to, you know, yeah. be independent. So it was kind of annoying with that where how they thought he was abusive. really, really got on my nerves. But right. ironically, after the competition, it it died down. Well, that's good. So I was like, well, that's ironic. Do you have another one, Lauren? <laughs> She's like, yes, I do. 